Okay, we are at the west side of Rose Auction. Here's this side, which is actually the more spacious side. We usually come in down there and park in the grass, but we use handicap today for my mom. So this is there's like two rows in between the auction. We're parking over there. So here's kind of the very western end of it on the outside. I'll show you some stands. There's everything you could pretty much imagine here. Clothing, antiques, of course fresh fruit, meat, animals. So thankfully they have shade. Alright, here's one. A whole bunch of stuff bargain stuff a lot of bargain shopping here. A lot of bargain shopping. And just a lot of local produce and meat and such. Go ahead. So this place is supposed to open at nine, but as you can see, it's already bustling. This is um, yeah. So it opens at nine. It's eight thirty. <laughs> this is the crowd. So you some of the stands here. Got some. <laughs> Oh, local goods. <laughs> Good looking produce. This is a McDonald's garden. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you are? Oh, there's Donald's Gardens. So they have stands all along the side of the buildings. So there's, I think, four buildings. There's a whole way down there. Whole way over here. Right? Yeah. There used to be a flag right here. You said, we're going to be fine. Okay. I'm going to go scoot down here and come back for a while. And I know that more than that. Okay. 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 Oh, there's actually a space here that's actually pretty miraculous. <laughs> it's usually really crowded all of the time. Like I said, they don't open for half an hour, which is funny because they're open. So that's a little hint of playing this being here. Here's a, I always usually get some um, chew five pies here. Chew five pies, apple pies, a whole bunch of pies. We often get some baked goods here when we come here. So they might not be exchanging money yet, but they're set up. How much is stuff here? That is an Amish owned stand. There's some knives. So there's more stuff up here, and then there's some animals in these barns. Um, if we have time, we'll go over there. But there's more produce on this end. Other knickknacks. There's some stuff inside there too. Here's a whole bunch of stuff on sale. All sorts of stuff. Get some purses. I'm doing a quick walkthrough. This is an enormous place, so I'll give you a general idea of what's here. We even have, you know, Please mystic incense and stuff here. Yeah. That smells good here, actually. Yeah. About this so here's kind of a span. I'm going to take you back to the lawn decorations. They're not all set up out here. I can kind of tell. Oh, here's some signs. <laughs> pretty neat stuff. So it's pretty quiet out this way. This is kind of the very edge of it. I would say the very um, northeastern edge. There's a lot of bargain shopping here. This is the clothing stand. I think I got a dress here for $10 that I still wear. It kind of moved since then, but lots of cheap clothing in there. Bargain clothing, let's just say. Not cheap. 
Ouija Park over there in that grassy area, but there's some difference. So this is typically how, and this is usually full of stands right here where I'm standing. So more clothing bargains. My kids' favorite stand. I'm gonna show you to you. It's the they call the rock stand. Back to the purses. I'm gonna walk, I think, through this building really fast. So I'm not gonna go up here, but books and coins are upstairs. Huh. My old son collects coins. Jewelry, sports cards, toys, and my other two collect sports cards. Well, my dad, my husband, and my and then sit down here, we'll just do a quick peek in. Yeah, Amish owned, English owned, and everything in between owned stores here, stands. So, I'm gonna find my parents, and I'll take in some buildings. 